Ciao. Ciao. So we are at the Enoteca where they have wines from all over the world and I'm having a beautiful glass of wine and See, yeah. we're having a little, uh, we're going to prepare a little Benanti and the Rosso. So this is a red grape from uh, Mount Etna in Sicily. Um, very similar to, the term is Nebbiolo of the South. So uh, Nebbiolo is a great found in Piedmont. So they kind of compare this to Nebbiolo, but it's got great structure, a little white ash, fantastic with food. Um, and uh, we're, somebody's hungry, so we're going to do a little, little bit of my grandmother's gnocchi. Oh, so, love let's grab, it. Let's grab yes, some gnocchi. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a little gnocchi do a colore. We got gnocchi pomodoro and a little gnocchi con pesto. Oh, um, awesome. So, yeah, so the, the, the other myth about uh, pesto uh, is pesto is, uh, uh, is found in Tuscany, but it is a Ligurian dish. Um, and the one thing that you never put in pesto is pine nuts. So in a Ligurian pesto, it has no nuts. Okay, so if you don't put pine nuts in your pesto, no. No then what do you put in are you going to give up your ingredients here i'm <laughs> well, really trying to pull this out is always made with with fresh basil white pepper it's the same the same way in garlic obviously but uh we lighten our pesto up a little bit and in order to get this color there's a mm -hmm. few tricks you have to do because most people's pesto if you ever seen pesto turn yeah. black right it gets oxidized that's right yeah, this pesto and is not black yeah no. So, it's uh, a beautiful, yeah. bright green, yes, which is yes. what pesto which should is, be. Which is, uh, th this comes from blanching your basil before you make the pesto. Do you put um, almonds in no, your there's no pesto? Nuts, no nuts Are you going to make pesto? me guess the ingredients? The, nut, the, the pesto is allergen-free for people okay. with nut allergies. All right. And they deal with that every day, too. So so this is this is pesto fatamado, as we like to say, made the correct way, uh, with my grandmother's gnocchi. These gnocchi recipe goes back... Uh, few years so this is one of her dishes that we've carried on in Sonoma for the last 30 years uh, mm -hmm. one of our specialties and hopefully these gnocchi what they do is uh, they, they maintain their form but they are soft enough that they should melt in your mouth and dissolve so um, that's what we like to say and gnocchi is made of potato potato yes so okay. it's potato flour egg but there's other certain things you have to add that we we have secrets so you got the pesto gnocchi <laughs> and then the tomato gnocchi. pomodoro see so this is this is a pear tomato sauce, uh, pomodoro with fresh basil. Uh, you need pear tomatoes, which is low acidity, high sugar, sweetness, and this sauce is made to work. So we make pomodoro, so we're from a very, very simple, quick, fast, uh, just a great dish. Love it, um, let's thank do a little you so grana, much. A little grana, and uh, beautiful. Okay, Yeah. hands down. <laughs> The best gnocchi they I've should, had in my life. They should dissolve in your mouth. Yeah, Including so. from Germany. I mean, all over the world. It yeah. does. Yeah. Sometimes you eat it yeah. and it's like a yep. chewy ball. No, of no, it, should, it shouldn't mm. be. There's enough this structure. So good. Let's do, a little, let's do a little pesto. I want another bite. Okay, pesto gnocchi. Oh. So. It's just so good. Dude, that's it. Yeah, that's um. I'm know. tearing up. <laughs> <laughs> They have to be made quickly to get uh, to a state where they can be frozen quickly. Um, mm -hmm. So there's a combination of stuff in order to keep that form. So there's a few things involved with the right combination of flour, egg, a um, little bit of nutmeg. Uh, so I yeah, want to recreate yeah. this dish. I have yeah. to recreate this dish. I don't know if I could ever get it to be as well, beautiful. Well, we, we don't want that to happen because we'd like to serve ah. it here. So <laughs> you're not so. going to tell me the ingredients. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to recreate this dish. I'm going to try. We'll send you. We'll send you some gnocchi. Okay. Fantastic. That's what we'll do. That's it. Thank you so Thanks much, Rob. This is amazing. Thanks a lot. You are an incredible cook. That's it. But yeah. Come here for the true Tuscan experience. We'd like to say so, yes. Yeah. We definitely. We definitely keep it traditional. So Wonderful. yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, a lot. Thanks for watching Meatless Monday. We will see you again next week. <laughs>